Hey, I'm Kevin and welcome to another episode of the challenge Battle of the X's 2 recaps and I am very excited because we're in episode 8. I know I say that every like recap but I always am excited for the challenge because I mean come on why wouldn't I be? Anyways, so we start off in the bar drinking time and there's only five teams left. So and then we have Lero and Naya kind of going, turning on their beast mode and saying that they don't want no easy final. And that's how we get to Sarah not feeling, still not feeling good with Jordan. And at this point, she just wants to be, be good with him. But I think in this case, it is not about Sarah. I think it was about Jordan. And I really think that Sarah should not have to apologize for many things that he actually did so i'm not agreeing with that part but i do understand why would sarah want to apologize because she i would do it the same too because she doesn't have that kind of ego to you know like okay we're partners i mean in my ex challenge i want to win so i'm just gonna fucking apologize so this kid gets over whatever problem he has so i think i would probably do the same like just i would be even though i know i didn't do anything wrong i would go up to that person or write the no and say you know what i'm sorry so that's how we get to oh so they make up and they're happy again and it makes me happy because now they're gonna work together very good so now we get to the challenge and in the challenge it's called speed dating and i think this is one of the most exciting most like this is one of the coolest challenges we've had i just really love this challenge basically there's gonna be two huge trailers and they're going they're going to go three mi 30 miles per hour and they're gonna be transferring balls from one tra from one trailer to another but the trick here is that they have to jump of course but the trick here is that the guys have to stay on the outside of the girls then their um, cables are gonna get tangled and they are gonna have problems so that is basically the trick um visually this is a very cool challenge but i also think it was a very easy challenge after i saw the challenge how it worked i thought it was a very easy challenge and i would do that challenge in a heartbeat and i just love how i said that People keep asking why when people or challengers have real jobs they still go and do these things it, this is the things why so basically since Jay and Jenna won last week they have the power to of course choose the order of this week and since you already have enemy number one at this point the people you sent in last week and came back well I don't want to have a problem with anybody else so let's write him down and it's just so funny that Jenna's like how do you spell Leroy and I was like are you serious anyway so Naya and Leroy are first up and they are mad they are in fucking beast mode and I am fucking loving Leroy and Naya as a couple I am just loving everything they're doing I think that I needed to see this lady this Leroy even though I say each and every recap I just needed to see a Leroy that it's that is eager to win a challenge and that wants to get aggressive and is politicking and winning and and with a partner like Naya that she seems like she really wants this too she wants to prove everybody that she can that she wants to make it to the finals I think that this is just a great couple and I love how they're in this mode so we don't know how this challenge is gonna work yet but Leroy and I want to set the bar high and they start and at the beginning it seems like Naya hesitates to jump to the other trailer but I do remember I don't know where I read that Naya was a volleyball player so you can see her skills the slow mos 
for all of the people in all of the rounds were so cool i literally fell in love with all the slow mos i think this is just a visually such a good good challenge anyways they did so good this two guys are running or jumping and they get 10 balls next up we have Zach and Johnny and at this point they haven't been the best couple and it seems like Zach does not know how to handle um, his um, frustration they had a plan that before oh because they um, I forgot to say that there are certain checkpoints during the course of the trucks running and this truck separates so whenever they separate of course they have to stay in the truck where you're putting the ball john a was hesitated too much to jump um she only got two balls and then later they are doing very good and i'm very impressed with john a because it seems like like I really have a, I really have John A in a good place. Like she's a good competitor. She's not the best, but she's not like a Chavon, but she's not an Emily. She, she's like a Kimberly. So, anyways, um, at the end, it seems like John A or Zach and John A are doing so good, and her adrenaline is popping, and she jumps again. And at this point, they were supposed to be done, and Zach at this point is really, really mad. And the, they talk to him is like no you didn't get disqualified it's okay you made it they got 11 balls so then we had Sarah and Jordan and Sarah and Jordan were uh, they were going so good and Sarah was so excited and it seemed like Jordan was excited as well but then Sarah went one time and then Jordan went one time and then once Sarah wanted to go next it, it seems like they got tangled and they tried to untangle like throughout the whole ride and they could not get untangled so basically they end up with or two balls i'm sorry two balls two or four balls um yeah two balls so basically at this point so whoever gets more than two balls is not going to the dome and sarah and jordan are going to the dome next we have wes and Teresa, and they do so good then we had um jay and jenna and at this point i thought jenna was gonna be afraid and it was gonna hesitate a lot and i'm very i've been impressed throughout this whole challenge of jenna she doesn't think about it she just do things i you know what i was a little bit iffy about watching her in the challenges but i think that i am enjoying her and i really hope that she grows as a competitor even though i don't know if her brain smartness is gonna help her out but at this point they're doing good they have two balls but they get tangled jay gets tangled they go back and they get untangled so as soon as they get untangled it was like whoa but before that i really thought we were gonna have a tie and that uh, they were gonna have to go again but that was not the case jay gets it untied he goes and grabs the balls and they are finished not going to the dome so the basically the losers for the day were sarah and jordan so then for the winners we have three couples that actually did very good and they were naya leroy wes and Teresa, and zach and john a but actually there was a little problem with the last ball that zach got and they had 11 and they could only get 10 balls because Zach jumped before John A um, was touched the, the wall which was a rule so at this point it seems like it was like Zach's fault that they did not win so then it is all they're all tied but this time he fixed his sillones so at this point it is all about who did it fastest and the winners are Laya and Leroy and I'm very happy because I predicted that with my friends way before the challenge happened I was like today Naya and Leroy are gonna win trust me and I don't read no spoilers I just had a feeling in my heart so then we have Zach um, kind of apologized to John A and then finally John A is stepping up to, to Zach and we have a little thing so at this point John A is just 
over Zack and does not want to see him anymore. It is time for the special dinner and it seems like Leroy and Naya um, kind of don't want anybody to know who is going to go in uh, in the dome and they want it to be a surprise. So they're going to talk to everybody and make them feel safe. So when they go, it's going to be like BAM. But at this point, he talks to Zach to tell him, okay, you're good. He tells Jay that he's going to give him another chance. And then he talks to Wes. And then Wes comes and shakes things up. But then he comes the catch. Wes is such a big manipulator. And now I fully understand why they call him the mastermind. This guy told Leroy everything exactly the way he wanted. So... Leroy can do every exact thing that Wes wanted. I was like, what? I mean, even Teresa is kind of smiling and saying, I thought he was good at politics, but not this good. And it seems like Wes is throwing under the, Zach throw under the bus because of course, Wes is thinking this dude is huge. If in the future I have to go in against them, him, he's going to beat me. So I would have done the same thing and I think Leroy thought so too. So at the end he goes and talks to Zach, probably is going to be you. And he throws him in, in the dome with against Sarah and Jordan. Two things that I have to add to this whole um, recap is that I just really enjoy the way the Leroy talks but he does it so fucking natural it's just so funny and I just love how when he was talking to Zach about maybe throwing him in he was like bro you've gotten paid before I haven't gotten paid and what is it what the thing is referring to is like you've won before and I haven't and I think that is so funny because he refers to winning as getting paid and I heard that that I mean that fucking cracked me up so bad and then when he was talking to Wes, he was like, I'm not going to do your dirty work for you, motherfucker. And it's just so funny how he says motherfucker like a word that is like anything, like a daily word. I just, it was just so funny. Anyways, now we're going into the dome. And in the dome, I don't if you hear noise, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on over there. Um, so in the dome, it is a hammer home and we have basically two beams right two beams and they're gonna have a sludge hammer and the guys are gonna start off first so basically they're in the in the begin in the middle i'm sorry in the middle there is a white mark so the guys have to hammer like this beam until the the marked beam is in the marked space in the ground that's the middle so then the girls are, are gonna start and do the next half until they reach the bell and the bell rings so basically at this point i'm like all right this is like zach's thing like i was kind of pissed off because i was like they didn't even give jordan a chance like First of all, look at Zach and look at Jordan. And second of all, um, Jordan does not have a hand. So how is he going to do this? And I'm just like, okay, I'm just really pissed. But then I think about it and I'm like, okay, maybe they have an advantage. But I don't think that John Nay is even going to be able to pick up this Lutch Hammer. And I'm like, ah, now I don't know who's going to win they start going at it and it seems like Zach is just going full strength at it Fuerza Bruta Jordan is doing it very different I think that technique is way better and, and he finishes and he is not even wa he's not even running or washing to get the sludge hammer to Sarah and I'm like are you serious That's, this is one of the things why sometimes I now understand why the challengers don't like Jordan 
this make me kind of like this like jordan because like are you serious like come on i don't care who you are rush rush it and then sarah starts going at it and then finally it is johnny's turn to to start and it seems like John A is fucking catching up to Sarah. Um, no, 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 no. Sarah and Jordan win. And just like that, they're out. We have four couples left. And I and the uh, exile. It was Avery and Jordan versus Avery and Johnny versus Benani. And it was a there was this whole and they had to pick up balls from with chopsticks and. Banani won and they sent home Avery and Johnny so now the next week we're gonna get to see who is the one who comes back and my prediction is of course Banani you're gonna come back it's like whatever like we all know it so anyways it is just like so cruel that these four teams think they're the final four teams and they have no idea what's uh, come what's gonna come to them so Thanks for watching. So see you later, alligators. Bye-bye.